All right, my name is Drafe, and this is a crash course for Graveyard Keeper, a new game that's in alpha, so let's check it out. So right when you start the game, you are a guy in modern times, you're buying something at some like corner store, and you're walking out in the middle of the street, you get called by your girlfriend, and you get hit by a car. Um, when you wake up, you're somewhere you have no idea where you're at, you're just in some Machiavellian time, you're in control of a graveyard, they just tell you your new home is a graveyard. You're asked to dig up a guy named Jerry, just a skull you end up digging up. He has no memories of what happened, but he starts to learn things and remember things as the storyline goes along. He introduces you to a donkey right here, which will uh, be the one that drops off your bodies, uh, usually daily. Um, and uh, the first thing you have to do is you take this body in there for your first autopsy. The first autopsy is just extracting meat, uh, because the skull wants you to sell the meat to town so that you can get beer from because he's an alcoholic in a previous life. But I digress. Once you're done... Um, taking the meat off this, you're going to be asked to take this first body to the graveyard to bury your first body. Once you get to the graveyard, he will give you uh, your first shovel and he will ask you to make a grave site. You bury the body and then you get to meet your bishop. After you uh, bury the body, obviously, you'll get a burial certificate, which you get to sell later on. Again, now you get to meet the bishop. Um, he comes in, and he's the one that will uh, eventually open the church once your graveyard is up to snuff. The first thing he tells you is your graveyard sucks, and to go and grab some tools and to repair everything that you can. Uh, then you go back to town to sell that burial certificate to the guy in the Dead Horse Inn. Um, he tells you to uh, take a letter to the blacksmith because he's too lazy at first. Um, you go to the blacksmith, you're going to be asked to kill some slimes behind that. He's also going to give you a broken sword to fix before that. Uh, once you go back to the innkeeper um, and tell him that you delivered the letter, he's going to give you the uh, give you a beer for the skull, and then you talk to that lady and you talk to some other people to uh, progress the storyline if it's the right day, but that's just something else that you'll learn on. You go back to town, and when you're on your way back to town, you should be interrupted by the skull guy, and he'll give you the ability to gather berries and stuff, uh, berries and mushrooms. You give him the beer, uh, you'll end up going down to your cellar finally so that you can get some wheat. You can actually make some food out of that, make some bread, you get some resources, you start building stuff. Because this is where it gets important. You need to start focusing on building the objects and training your technology so that you can make your level 1 tools. Because without your level 1 tools, you're going to be spending a lot of time sleeping and a lot of time making food instead of getting a lot of your work done. And when you get your level 1 tools, your efficiency doubles. And you're pretty much able to just do a lot more with your with your daylight, or a lot more with your energy, I should say. Uh, so your number one priority is to just build all of the prerequisites, all of your crafting stations that you need to get your level one tools. It is imperative in your early game to get this started because you're just going to be wasting so much time. The first time I played, it was just terrible. Anyways, uh, once you've finally, uh, you know, start uh, getting your tools and everything going, you're going to end up getting... Um, a little, a uh, little short cutscene of a witch burning, and you have to meet up the Inquisitor. Uh, you can make friends with him. You could. I'm pretty sure you need to make friends. If you need iron, you need to go north of your place and get some iron right there. You saw, and then you're, you're right here. This is where you start building your uh, level one items. But yeah, if you get iron, it's all around you, close to the swamp iron. You don't need to spend money or points on the technology to get regular iron. It's just laying right there. So just get your level one items, and then everything just starts going really swimmingly. After you've gotten all your level 1 items, you can start, you can either put them away or you can go sell your old rusty items back to the blacksmith for some silver, uh, and then you need to start working on your graveyard. The focus on the graveyard at the beginning seems to be easier to just focus on building stone gravestones and replacing all broken gravestones at the graveyard um, with stone ones. Um, when you're burying bodies, you can actually get higher quality bodies from removing the fat and blood from the bodies, like you're preparing the bodies for burial. Uh, you can see right here it says two red skulls on the left. Those red skulls will keep you from getting points in your burials. No matter what you put, no matter the fanciest uh, gravestones, won't matter as long as you have red skulls. So you remove the fat and the blood from a body to get those red skulls converted into white skulls. And you go bury that body right there, and it will give you uh, a zero or a plus one, depending on the grave that you dug up. So um, once you've gotten your grave or your graveyard up to snuff, you'll open up the church with the bishop on the Sunday, and you'll give your first sermon, you get faith, and there's a few other little things there. And after that, you can start checking out gardening. You can actually start gardening a little earlier on uh, in the game, just so you can get yourself a little more uh, spare energy to deal with. But you're going to end up spending a lot of silver and a lot of time doing that. You end up buying your first seeds south of the wheat field. 
um, that you get or that you're crossing when you're going to town. So you just go south of that. You can buy the seeds from him. Again, you're spending a lot of silver in that. So you're going to have to find a way to make some silver, either burying bodies or selling some extra stuff that you're finding around. Um, the bodies seem to be the best way to do that um, at the early game. Um, but yeah, you go buy seeds and uh, you start burying them. After you've uh, put the seeds in the ground, you've planted the seeds, it takes three days before you can harvest them. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much the crash course of this game. Uh, if you guys have anything else that I forgot, please add it in the comments.